Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon. Um, so I wanted to share this um, painting experience with you guys and I wanted to do a voiceover. Um, this is a painting that I had did over the weekend. It was one of those random paintings. I didn't really plan it out or anything like that. I didn't have anything particular. I was just really just testing out brushes. Over the weekend, I, I put together a whole bunch of brushes and, um, you know, cre well, created a whole bunch of brushes for Procreate. And, you know, my intention or my plan, you know, was just to go ahead and get a, a head start for this week, you know. Um, like, you know, I took these photos of, of clouds that I, um, um, pictures that I taken uh, uh, during the week and so I took these pictures um, early I went to work early and um, I had more than enough time so I decided to start taking pictures and I walked around took pictures and the idea was for me to go ahead and create these uh, brushes um, from these pictures I was just randomly taking pictures of clouds and I wanted to have this these realistic um, clouds brushed so, and the weather was beautiful, so I said, let me go ahead and do it. And um, I was able to go ahead and do it. And by the way, those brushes, um, the cloud riff, the realistic realistic cloud brush set is completely free. I'll make sure the link is in the description below where you guys can go ahead and um, um, get them. There are four brushes. Um, they're really cool. And they were... Um, you know, they served really cool, served a really good purpose. And I think they're helpful for any, any artist that's looking for that realistic brush feeling, um, um, that realistic um, cloud set. Uh, I think you guys would definitely um, benefit from that. Um, so if you guys want to help out, want to support a brother out, you know, you can go to the link in the description below and you can download that. Um, like I said, they're 100% free. Um, you know, if you want to leave a donation, you can leave a donation. It's greatly appreciated, but you don't have to. Um, it's basically a way of supporting another artist, you know. I'm a firm believer in artists supporting artists. No one knows how vital, you know, uh, brushes are, you know. Uh, on uh, unless you are, are walking in my my shoes and you know most people that follow most people that um, listen or, or or know me you know are artists themselves so yeah so I believe in artist supporting artists so if you guys want to leave a donation you can go ahead and leave a, leave a donation of whatever you you like but ultimately it's a hundred percent free now I did create a whole bunch of other brushes and you're going to see some of those brushes um being put to use here that's the whole purpose of this video the whole purpose of this video is really just to test the brushes that's really what it is um so i have park bench brushes i have um wolf um brushes um i have bird brushes and the cloud brushes um with the exception of the cloud brushes, the other three brushes, they are up for sale. And they're relatively very, very low, very affordable. I set the price at $2. And a lot of people have questioned, why would you set the price at $2? And the reason behind, be, because of that is because I'm thinking about that artist that needs something at the moment. Um, right away, you know, and the set is there. And all these brushes, they come with at least 10 brush, ten brushes, you know. So I'm thinking about that artist, but I'm also thinking about when I first started working in Procreate, you know, I didn't have all the money in the world. I mean, I literally just bought my iPad, which cost me about $800. We'll just say $900. I spent about $950 total altogether between the iPad, the I pen to the case for the iPad and the screen protector for the iPad and 
the very first app that I purchased was um, Procreate because I had heard so much about Procreate, you know. So once I downloaded Procreate, the next thing I wanted to do was start working with brushes, start learning brushes. And, you know, the brushes that Procreate has and they come with are really cool and really resourceful, really useful if you know how to go ahead and work, work around them and work with them. But I knew there were other brushes out there. And the reason why I know this is because I come from a Photoshop background. I went to school for digital um, digital media communications. And although I never was able to achieve my degree, I did learn a lot about Photoshop and Illustrator and, and graphic design in general. So I already have that, had that in my, um, in, in, in my, resume if you want to say that in my resume my skill set so you know i just needed some brushes so i went and was able to go ahead and locate some free brushes and you know they were very very helpful but you know um or low cost brushes and that's the reason why i have the price at two two dollars for a brush you know um <clears throat> And here you see that I started creating the landscape, you know, the cliffs, the um, trees, the mountains. So I wanted to give it that depth of field, so I went ahead and added some clouds, you know, or not clouds, um, mist. I wanted to give it that depth, you know. Um, like I said, I'm winging, winging it when it comes to this particular um um painting it's, there's no direction or nothing that i have in mind that i wanted to go ahead and do i just decided to go ahead and put it together and really just test out these brushes you know so and i i really really enjoyed the way it came out and you know i hope you guys enjoy it also um so here's a couple of tips if you're new to procreate if you're new to Procreate, or first of all, if you are a person that wants to learn about um, art, digital art in particular, there are two apps that I recommend. One, I recommend um, Sketchbook. When I first started out, I started out with Sketchbook. And Sketchbook is completely free. Um, it's not as good as um, Procreate but it's a very good learning tool when it comes to other apps and other softwares. Um, and I just d dove right into painting. In fact, one of my paintings, one of my best seller paintings um, that I have in one of my shops, you know, was completely done in Procreate, you know, and it was one of those paintings that, you know, I just winged it and put it all together. Um, but, well, I, I didn't just wing it. I, I did have an idea of what I wanted, but, you know, I needed to go ahead and learn how to use Procreate. I mean, Sketchbook. Sorry, let me get some water real quick. So yeah, I needed to go ahead and learn how to use um, Sketchbook. Um, I didn't have Photoshop at the time. You know, Photoshop is a pretty expensive program and most artists agree with me that it is pretty pricey. You know, when I was going to school, um, Photoshop was just, you pay that one time and the software is yours for the remainder of your life. Until there's another upgrade, you just upgrade, you just buy the, the next upgrade, you know. And we're talking about when it was like Photoshop CS, Adobe Photoshop CS2. That's when I went to college, you know. And then and the Photoshop I have now is Photoshop CS6. And even right now, they don't even have that. They, they don't have that no more. Now it's Photoshop CC and... You know, it, it instead of you just buying the the software, standalone software, now you have to pay monthly for the monthly subscription, and it's just it's so pricey. So it you know becomes very very pricey. You know, and for the new artist, for the artist that wants to really like get an idea of whether it's worth it or not, 
uh, it's just it's not worth it you know i have friends that um um work in photography and you know they want to learn about um photoshop because photoshop is tied to photography tied, it's, photoshop is tied to so many things but you know they have no idea the slightest of the idea of what to do when it comes to photoshop so they'll come to me and they'll ask me for some tips some advice and stuff like that you know um if it's a requirement for school then you know you have no choice but to get it and you got to get it but you know there are other alter alternatives you know um if you're gonna if you just want to do do and and get your foot in you know get your feet cold then i would recommend sketchbook and then if you like want to take it <clears throat> if, if you want to take it another another level i'd recommend you just go ahead and and purchase procreate procreate is one of the very cool cool um apps there's so many features so many things that you can do with procreate and it's not as limited as sketchbook at least the app we're talking about for the ipad sketchbook you can't import your um, own brushes but in procreate you can you know so there's a lot of plus and minuses for both um apps but at the end if you weigh it out procreate is a way better app you know they did a wonderful job um when they created from um, procreate um but on another video i'll do a versus video or a comparison um um between the two um, so going back to this video you see that i've already used the cloud brush i've used the bird brush i've used the park bench brush and i've used the wolf brush these are all brushes that I have, you know, together in my Gumroad shop. And the link will, is in the description below if you guys are interested in, um, you know, grabbing them. They're really, really cool and very, like I said, they're very, very helpful, you know. And this particular painting, like I said, you know, in the very beginning, I didn't have no direction of what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to go ahead and really test out these brushes and I said, let me just go ahead and capture the video, you know, I might have a moment of inspiration and, I, you know, I was very well pleased with the way the video came out, you know, and this video is kind of um, sped up a little bit because um, the video is actually the 26 minutes long and I had to speed it up because I was like, wow, this is, there were moments, um, again, it was really me testing out. The brushes so you know but um here i have this um light light burst brush that um i downloaded before and it, it was pretty cool i don't remember who i downloaded it from but you know again i downloaded that brush when i first got procreate along with other brushes so that i can go ahead and get started with the whole painting brush um painting prop um Point. and I those I, either I paid for some of these brushes or I they were completely free so you know it's a no-brainer to go ahead and just you know go ahead and paint you know and again the prices for my brushes are only two dollars you know um the ones that I do have for sale they're only two dollars um I'm not looking to get rich I'm like I said I'm just looking to go ahead and Looking out for that new new starter, that person that wants to get, you know, a handle on Procreate and stuff like that. Um, wants these really cool brushes. They, they're they very useful, particularly the bird brush um, set is actually pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's, this is just about what I have to say. I mean, um, if you want to learn more about me. You know, you can always go to my website, www.artbyrichie.com. You can go to my website, www.artbyrichie.com. Um, I have tons of shops, you know, online shops where I actually sell my merchandise or sell my designs, you know. And occasionally I work on um, projects for other, for clients house. You know, I, I do freelance work, you know. But, um... 
mo all these videos that I've been doing, these digital paintings, most of them are just really for myself. It's really for me to go ahead and keep those skills, um, you know, fine tuned. You know, I try to go ahead and practice painting at least um, five minutes every day. There's nothing like go ahead and having that brush stroke, you know, on the iPad and practicing it over and over and over the smoothness and how it goes ahead and flows. That's something that's very, very important for an artist because we, in between each stroke, you have those moments of inspiration, like, oh, let me try to add this or let me add that. Or you have those moments and your mind, you know, is being pushed. Your imagination is being pushed to make it, if you're going for a realistic look, you know, like in this case, I'm, I was trying to go for a realistic look. So I wanted to give that mountain texture, you know, or that sitting area that the gentleman is sitting on. I wanted to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. So the brush that I use happened to be a grass um, type brush, you know. So anyways, so yeah, I try to practice at least, um, you know, five minutes a day. Every day in my commute, I try to practice, um, you know, and I normally don't just randomly start a painting and that's it no i actually usually i have a sketch i'll start with a sketch and then that sketch is is what um whether i have it mentally or whether i, I actually draw out the sketch is is where i um go ahead and just create my my digital painting um like right now i have a sketch that i already set up i set it up last night um and the mindset, the mind frame that I have with that sketch is to go ahead and just um, um, start it now and then use this whole entire week, my train ride, to go ahead and produce something awesome for, you know, next week. Anyways, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to finish blabbing here. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the painting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. You know, and hit that notification bell.